Hi everyone, Art with Central Farm Service. It is Wednesday, June 17th. Wanted to give you a weekly agronomy update, what we've been seeing. Um, wanted to get outside today, but and do a video. It's just too windy. We've had so much wind. It's uh, starting to get behind on some of the post applications on corn. We got beans that need to be sprayed. So it's gonna be interesting getting up against the labels of some of these products, but we do definitely have some products we can use if the corn gets off label with with what our plan is so um we got we're up against the limit here of extendamax spraying um it's uh i think we got three days left to the 20th of june so that's going to be an issue we had a lot of acres planned don't think we're going to get them all applied and uh unfortunately that cutoff date's coming up here pretty quick um been noticing a lot of crop injury in soybeans from the pre's uh, I don't think it's particularly going to be the yield limiting, but early on we had uh, we had a lot of cool wet weather. Put those pre's on the plants, took them up, and uh, seeing some injury. But looked at some fields today, been kind of monitoring them every day, and they are coming out of it pretty nicely. So uh, there's a lot of people blaming it on HPPD carryover. Uh, everything I've looked at has not been HPB carryover which would be Lotus, Callisto, Acheron, Halix, all those products have obviously uh, HPPD in it so encourage if you got a question call us up come out and take a look doesn't take very long to determine determine what type of injury it is um, on the corn side we've uh, been doing a lot of nitrate now sampling through Central Advantage and one of the things that's really stuck out to me is instinct we put down with our early application a 32% or urea. So we're getting these nitrate samples back and on average, our instinct is showing 10 parts per million more, which is amazing. I never thought we would see that much. We've done some in the past, some side-by-sides -side trials, learning blocks, enhanced learning blocks. Um, this year we really got down into the nitty gritty and the stabilizers really paid off so if you're talking 10, 10 parts per million in a 12 inch core nitrate sample you're talking about 45 pounds of nitrogen that's amazing what we saved in nitrogen so as we keep getting down to uh, more prescriptive recommendations on nitrogen i'm gonna see a lot probably a lot less put down up front recommend an instinct type stabilizer and uh, run with it uh, the corn is amazing looking right now in a lot of fields it looks really good we've gotten a lot of those side dress applications on um, we've been doing some tissue sampling of course zinc and boron are consistently deficient in those crops uh, for the most part, nitrogen has been pretty good so far. Like I say, we've addressed a lot of the, the side dress applications. So that's about all I have for today. Um, encourage you, if you have any questions, give us a holler. And uh, look forward to less wind and uh, hoping we can get out and finish these applications. Have a great day. Thank you.